I'm about to drop the hammer and dispense some indiscriminate justice! Me Kevin is a shill, me Kevin is a shill, everybody knows it, me Kevin is a shill. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance, I'm Christopher Bale, certified public accountant, long-term boglehead investor, author of the book Stop Being a Broke Loser, it's on Amazon for $3, such a ripoff, and hater of Meet Kevin, and garbage stocks, like FUV, or FUD, or whatever you want to call it, also known as Arkimoto, manufacturer of the most ridiculously stupid looking vehicles I have ever seen in my entire life. But wait, they're EVs. Therefore, you just got to buy the stock, right? Well, let's go watch a couple videos and we're going to laugh at this company. And then we're going to go look at the financial statements. And you're going to see why this is a horrible place to put your money. So, of course, since this stock is so unprofitable, the company's bleeding money, hemorrhaging cash, it's just a freaking disaster. So of course, meet Kevin Shield it. Here he is riding one of these super hot vehicles. If you want to pick up chicks, boys, this is what you need to ride around in. So let's see meet Kevin. Let's see, let's watch him ride. And hopefully he doesn't crash. I mean, just kidding. Welcome to Arkimoto. These cars are fun. I love this. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> How much do you think he was paid to make that video? He is such a shill. Anyway, so me, Kevin, goes to Arkimoto, and he kind of like tours the factory, drives a car around, talks to the CEO, and just shilling the stock. So the funny thing was, I actually looked. This video was made June 5th, 2021. So I went to Robin Stock and I looked at June 4th. I guess that was a Friday. And then from June 4th to June 7th, the stock went up, God, like $2. It went up by maybe 15, 20%. All probably because of Meet Kevin's stupid little video. So this clown shilling this stock, in my opinion, probably moved the stock up. Probably 15, 20%. And that doesn't surprise me because look at the market cap. $467 million. That's a pretty small company, ladies and gentlemen. I would almost call this a penny stock. Now, recently, this stock's been getting freaking hammered. It went down from $17, almost $18 on August 12th. And now it's down to $10. Now, some of you may be like, well, Alibaba did that too. But that's another story. We'll talk about that later. So let's go look at Arkimoto's Vision, this amazing car company. And we're going to look at one of their stupid little commercials. When I saw this, I laughed out loud. Seriously. Here's what Arkimoto thinks is going to happen. Listen to this. Attractive machines that we mostly drive alone or with just one other person. Oh my God. See, cities are so inefficient. There's so many cars and people are spread out. But Arkimoto is going to solve all our problems in the city. We're all going to drive Arkimoto vehicles. And leave parked rusting for 95% of their life. That's nuts. We believe that by right size... Here's the future. So you see all these cars are all packed? Sizing, ...electrifying, and better utilizing our rides, we can <gasps> reclaim our... This is going to be the city of the future. It's all going to be Arkimoto's. <laughs> I saw this. I was like, these people are freaking delusional. I mean, you think everybody is going to buy these freaking cars? Especially if you have like, I don't know, kids maybe? How are you going to get your freaking kids around in this stupid little RoboCop garbage taxi piece of poo-poo, whatever you want to call it. It's ridiculous. This is never going to happen. God, ridiculousness. All right, so let's go look at their most recent investor presentation. Let's go see. So here's Arkimoto's Q2 2021 report released August 16th, 2021. It's pretty fresh information, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Probably why the stock crashed on August 16th. Uh, crash like what? Oh, $4. Nice. It's probably like a, what, 30% decline. So let's look. To set the frame, the IPCC just issued a code red for humanity. We're in the middle of a global pandemic. We are heartened that leaders around the globe are advancing targets for carbon reduction. All right, so I guess Arkimoto, since they're like electric vehicles, you know, they're basically saving the world with their vehicles. 
And wait till you see how many they've produced so far. Wait till you see how they're taking over the world. God. So basically they think they're heroes changing the world and, you know, making cities less crowded. Because everybody's just going to buy it. Now, consequently, we adjusted our build rate. I don't know, I guess something happened with uh, supply chains. We've revised our planned mainline target of production to 425 FUV platform vehicles in 21. 400 and 25 how many freaking vehicles is that i mean you could even outfit like an infantry battalion in the army with 425 of these things that's freaking nothing okay the other car manufacturers produce hundreds of thousands of cars every year this little clown company is making 425 cars in 2021 and they'll probably produce less they'll probably miss their target now i saw something else hilarious on here they were basically shilling their balance sheet, but they were ignoring their income statement, which is pretty freaking hilarious, because you'll see in a second why. Now, where was it? There was something funny. So, they were like, uh, okay, they were like, okay, look, here's the top-selling cars in 2020. So, they searched top-selling cars 2020, they pulled out the F, the Ford F-Series, you know, F-150, whatever, Chevrolet, Chevrolet, Silverado, and the Ram pickup. So, they said, wow, it looks like all these big trucks are selling. Trucks are very popular cars, and since people seem to love to buy Ford F-150s, let's go ahead and pull up a Ford F-150. Ford F-150. Since people seem to want to buy this freaking beast right here, they're going to want to buy FUVs. Therefore, we're going to make a FUV pickup, and we're going to be selling just as many cars as Ford. They are comparing this... This freaking sexy vehicle, and they have an electric version coming out, to this stupid little piece of crap. Are you kidding me? Who is going to buy this? This is just a super expensive toy that has almost no practical uses for the average person. Especially if you have kids. I know, kids. Who has kids nowadays? It's freaking garbage. This company's complete trash. Let's go look at some of the models they have. So, here it is. Wow. Let's see, the FUV, pure electric fun utility vehicle. 18 grand? Holy crap, that's more than my car. Look at this. So it's electric, 75 miles per hour top speed. Okay, so they have a couple models. You know, they have like a rapid responder model. I guess the cops are gonna be driving around in this. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna catch a criminal in a high speed chase with a little FUV going 75 miles per hour, and then you'll run out of electricity, you'll probably get shot. Stupid. So here's our fleets. Here's their fleets. Don't they have like a... Is there an easier way to freaking see all of them? Alright, so they have tourist rentals. They have Deliverator. I guess for like inner city delivery. Okay. They have... Okay. Yeah, so basically they have a couple models for like different uses. But at the end of the day, they're just overpriced toys. And they're not even producing anything. Now let's go look at their financial statements. Because that's ultimately what matters to me. So, you always want to see their financials. Are they actually making a profit? Let's go look at their consolidated statements of operation. So, for three months, for three months in 2021, from, I guess, what, March, April, yeah, April, May, June, they made $717,000 in revenue, and their cost of goods sold was $3.2 million dollars. So they had a gross loss of 2.5 million. You compare that to the last year, the first three months, and they lost 940,000 as a gross loss. Now, for the six months ended June 30th, for the, so for the last six months, they lost 4.3 million dollars simply from highly expensive costs of goods sold, which means their vehicles are freaking expensive and they're not selling a lot of them, or they're selling them for a very low price. Loss from operations over the last three months, $9.3 million. Loss from operations over the last six months, what is it? 16, almost $17 million. Holy crap. This company's losing money hand over fist. Let's go look at the statement of cash flows. Let me guess. They're losing a lot of money on cash and they're probably issuing stock, which dilutes the shareholders. Crazy. So let's look. For the first six months into June 30th, 2021, they lost, they burned $14 million in cash. And they collected $27 million from Meet Kevin's fans from stock issuances. They are diluting the freaking heck 
out of their shareholders, okay? And they are burning money. And they made, or they're going to make, supposedly, 425 vehicles. This company is ludicrous, all right? To sum this up, shilled by me, Kevin, one of the worst freaking investors Welcome I've ever Arkimoto. seen in my entire life, who just buys the dip, because he doesn't know why, he just does. Then they have this ridiculous vision where their entire entire cities are going to be have are going to have fuvs. Everybody's going to be driving Arkimoto vehicles. You know, I don't know how the kids are going to get around, or maybe your wife or spouse, but everybody's going to drive these stupid cars. They're going to replace the F-150. I mean, you know, look at this. This is so hot and delicious. I can totally see a bunch of rednecks not buying F-150s and instead buying this, you know. Or not the electric F-150. Nobody's going to buy that. This is just so much better, okay? Bleeding freaking money, both on the accrual basis of accounting and the cash basis of accounting. And they're, they're just ugly vehicles, and they're freaking expensive. I mean, holy crap. What was that vehicle? Almost $18,000? This is ridiculous. God. Anyway, this company's freaking garbage. Do not put your money in it. It's bleeding money. It's diluting the current shareholders. And you're going to get your cheeks clapped if you speculate like this in your investment portfolio. That's it. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about me. And y'all have a wonderful, delicious, superstitious, cockalicious day.